Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, Lemon Pest is within the room somewhere, and today we're back with some more Starfield Shattered Space. And last time we took the Vortex Interlocks from the dam and uh, returned to Icris. Turns out he didn't even want them, so waste of time. But there you go. <laughs> and now I believe we have to help House Vithal. So let's get into it. Shoop. Aha. Ah, wonderful. All right, come on, really Pest. So Let's go, go, go. Go and help House Vithal. Whatever their deal is. Oh, yes, we got that bloody interlock. After Obedience all that is paramount. nightmare battle. Getting out of that lab. And the bugger didn't even bloody want them. Unbelievable. All right, let's get in. Ooh, armory. Um... Hello. I have some real firepower here, if you are interested. Well, all right. Well, look who it is. Dazra's very own guest of honor. Oh, thanks. You must have friends in high places, as I have been authorized to trade with you. Awesome. I have some impressive firepower on offer. Well, do you know what? You have my attention. Of course I do. Now... What are you buying? Let's take a look. They will not know what hit them. Okay. So what she got? Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. What we might do, actually. I'm going to sell her some stuff. And then, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to buy some ammo off her for some things. But we're going to lighten our load a little bit. All right. Well, thank you, madam. I mean, saying that your weapons were, you know. They weren't that good. All right, let's go. So what's in here? Hello? The but What the hell? Well, can we... Can I come in there? If you seek the house elder, he is in his office. All right. Ah, so the office is up here, of course, of course. Oh, hello. Snacks. Got any snackies? Our minds and bodies must be fully devoted to his will. Oh, of course. Um, really? y'all like the toast, man. I mean, I like toast, but bloody hell, we do have snacks. Nice little snackies, seaweeds. I wasn't doing anything. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. What's that? What, 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 what is it? Seaweed. Ah, oh, we've got loads of seaweed. All right. Ooh. Do you know what? Do you know what? Yep, yep. Come on, lemon pest. Let's go. Orange, here. Yeah. Hello. Idle hands and minds are where heresy is sown. I'll take your word for it, love. Ooh, I see, I see a cred stick. Really? Nobody saw a thing. Come on, I'm a pest. All right, so. This is foolish, Victor. Oh. The High Council needs access to the power grid if we hope to restore the city. Your inability to provide a legitimate excuse for denying them will only last so long. Victoria is right. I know you're angry, but you can't let personal matters interfere with what may be best for everyone. Personal matters? This is a Ministry of State matter, and I will handle it as I see fit. He sounds reasonable. He is a traitor. <gasps> he turned his back not only on his family, but on our people's entire belief system. Okay. The fact that he still bleeds is agree. a stain upon the House of all name. Oh dear. You would do us all with your pride. <gasps> I will do as I please as head of this house. Oh my god. Well, all right. Y'all, y'all have an argument. I'll just, um, yeah. Oh, I thought this was a bloody weapons workbench. Got... How do I have that helmet? I thought I sold it. Maybe I didn't. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You got a weapons workbench here? I, I, I'd like. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Well, do you know what? We might as well have a look. Oh, lemon pest! How the hell did you do that? Don't ask. Just don't ask. Okay. 
the outs whoa that's quite a view but i want a weapons workbench really and we need to speak to this dude <sighs> bloody hell all right i'll have a look in a mo all right Ooh, it's kind of fancy oh requires a key they always require a bloody key storage um, area still no weapons workbench there might be one down in the armory actually now i think of it oh this is quite cozy isn't it that fire's a little bit extreme bloody hell a tale of two systems yeah we've already got that oh yeah very uh, very nice squire i'm sure okay come on then lemon pest let's go and introduce ourselves the shall we strikes down those who doubt Sure he does. All right. Hello. All right. Don't need to look so annoyed with me. I didn't do anything. I just strolled in. If you are not a member of House Bethal, you do not belong here. It's very rude. Um, I was sent to the by the High Council. I was sent by the High Council to get your cooperation. Another High Council lackey come begging. I told Lovick no more. All right. Forgive my brother. Calm down. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is Anasco's chosen. You recall Lovick sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help, especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely, which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. Oh, God. My nephew, Varric, has left. And until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. Well, go and deal with it yourself, then. Not going to do that, are you, though? No, 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 no. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find him and bring him back then. He's so bloody adamant on doing it yourself. You oversimplify. You would think us incapable of such a simple task. You, you're evidenced by you standing here. You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. Oh, house, mouse. I don't know. Hmm. Well... What would your missing son have to do with house politics? What would my son, my successor, the heir to House Berthal, have to do with house politics? Even someone with basic political knowledge should realize his importance. So why haven't you gone and saved him? Because you can't. Idiot. I don't like this guy. Yeah, you're expected to be a leader and you're acting like a child. The audacity. I should have you arrested. Go for it. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. Yeah. Uh -huh. <sighs> Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator... Are you well practiced in discretion? I am the height, the height of discretion. So stick your dummy back in your mouth and shut your gob. Well, hmm. I'm a reunion operative. I know all about discretion. I have heard reports on reunion from the Ministry of Conjunction. Uh huh. This news gives me hope. Well. As Victoria mentioned, my son, Varric has left. Where'd he go? Essentially, he has abandoned his post. And not only did he turn his back on his house, but the Great Serpent as well. He is a traitor and must be dealt with as such. Victor, surely you don't mean it. It's easy, he does, though. Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignance tearing through Dazra. 
And now you so willingly offer up Varric. As if our house has not suffered enough loss already. That is, it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. You know? Um... Who is Vashti? I will not speak of her with an outsider. Promised or not. Oh, God. Your really focus is solely on Vedic. Well, why did he turn... Why did he do this, then? Why did he turn his back on the Great Serpent? Go on. My son denounced the very faith that defines Varun's society. He dared to blame Anaskor for the state of Dazra. Dared to call our faith in the Great Serpent blind. It is heresy and punishable by death. Well, who? Oh. Yeah, why? Why did he leave, though? Why? Because he let his weakness get the better of him. He sees himself as a prisoner in this life. He runs from a duty that others would spend their lives coveting. He is my son. He does not get to choose. He was born to inherit my title, and he knows the punishment for refusing to honor it. I mean, basically, your kid just doesn't want to keep running the family business and you're annoyed about it. Stupid. All right, well, killing him, yeah, for leaving sounds a little bit extreme. It does. Of course it would. As someone from the settled systems, you have no concept of what the Great Serpent demands of us. I do not wish Vedic dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. Like I say, it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. It's stupid. Um, hmm. Yeah, what does the Ministry of State have to do with it? Why is it anybody's business? Our duty as wardens is to keep the populace tasked and loyal. All must serve, both the Great Serpent and House Varun. No exceptions. Those who refuse must be cleansed to stop the spread of corruption. You're a bit stuck in your ways, you, aren't you? Bloody hell. Um, yeah, why haven't you dealt with it yourself, then? Eh? What's, what's, what's your problem? Doubt? Doubts? I will not have it known that I declared my own son a heretic and allowed him to escape our grasp. This knowledge weakens the Ministry of State's authority, something we cannot risk at this time. This is why my interest turned to a third party. Someone outside of the noble houses, but we have yet to determine someone trustworthy enough. Until now. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, how does his death relate to the power grid access? Doesn't... The same very brought upon this house is immeasurable. It stains the very foundation. Well, stop being a tart. I will not act until this house is in order and its members are properly aligned with the Great Serpent. I won't agree to help until I get my way. Stamp foot. Such a child. Do you know what? He is your son. You could make an exception. Exceptions show weakness. Ugh. And we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. We have done the same for less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the Ministry's authority on the actions of my own son. Even if he is my chosen heir. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Vedic and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My right. brother is acting under impulse, not reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Vedic has a signet ring with House Vethal's family crest. Bring it to me as proof of death. Only then will I grant you access to the power grid. Only when I get my way. I'll see what I can do. See that you get it done. Yeah, yeah. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Vedic's associates there may know where he went. But keep in mind, anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, well, I'll use my best discretion when the time comes. See to it you do. 
All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance, getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. Don't worry, love. Come on, Lemon Pest. Let's see if they have a... If they have a... Um... Yeah. Do y'all have a... Yes, you do. Need some stopping power, huh? No, I just need your workbench. Okay, let's just have a little look here, because... The penumbra. What can I do with the penumbra? Ooh. Long barrel. Oh, that would increase the mass, but does increase the accuracy and the range. That might be a shout, and we do have... We do have the uh, the components for it, so let's do it. There you go. Bam, bam. Uh, what else? Insights. Can we have? Ah, oh, I've not got the not got the bits for it. Never mind. Uh, anything else? Standard muzzle, compensator. It's got a compensator on anyway. I think. Oh no. Ah, no aluminium. That's poop. Um, standard. Oh, we've just been in there. Grip and stop. Tactical stock, lighter stock for quicker aim down sights, speed, and better stability. And that does actually reduce its mass as well. So let's go with that. Yep. Um, yeah, we've already gone with a long barrel laser. I don't really like lasers. It's a shame I can't do anything with optics. Reflex sight or a short scope. Would like a short scope. What do I need? Chloro chlorosilanes. I wonder if lemon pest has any. Lemon pest, come here, dear. How can I be of service? What have you yes. got? Take all my things. No strings attached. Well, mm, okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Yes, he does. All right. Um, give me those. Thank you, Lemon Pest, for your valuable contribution. It'll be hard to top it, but you always okay, the penumbra, here we go. So, yeah, I'd like the short scope, I think. Short scope for two times magnified view does increase the mass by quite a bit, but it does increase accuracy, and that is what we would like. Thank you very much. Um... I don't think I could have done with anything with the... No, I'm not the aluminium. Lemon Pest... Oh my god. I'm going to have to just remove all the resources from Lemon Pest. Do my modding and then give them back to him. Lemon Pest... How do you think, Visit? Gladly. I'll do my best to preserve every item. Can we change your hair? I feel like I want to change his hair. Um, Take all the resources. Yes. Okay. Back to work. Okay. Yep. Then, oh god, I'm over encumbered. Bloody hell. All right. Okay. Help, I can take a few items. I will do of shortly, course, Lemon Pest. I would also label you an imposter since you need no assistance from anyone. Increases stability and hit fire accuracy. Yes, let's let's Ooh, it would be nice to be able to do that, wouldn't it? Muscle mods one. Do I not have that? Really? Ah, I'd like that though. Oh, apparently I I I, I do have it. All right. Oh hell yes! Brilliant. All right. So what else have I got that I want to? I don't think with Avatar. I feel like Avatar could do with with some some mods. Stabilizing barrel. Does increase the mass and doesn't really do much else. The long barrel might be quite nice actually. Increases the mass but not by a lot. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, uh recon scope. What's the long scope like? Uh medium scope. Ooh. Long scope might be the one, you know. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 
getting some upgrades. We're doing this. Long scope muzzle break. Uh, see, that reduces the mass by taking it off, but I don't know. Large magazine. Ooh. Armor, pier armor piercing rounds? Ooh. Would that, does that reduce, ah, it does reduce the mag size a little, but it does improve the damage. Yeah, uh, oh, and that increases the range and the damage. Depleted uranium rounds. These rounds can penetrate any armor. Holy. You know, you know, when you know, you know. And that does increase the range as well. What? 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 Oh, magazine and battery mods, that's what I need. Well, that's annoying. That's very annoying. I really need to drop off some of these items, because I don't use them, do I? Um. Hmm. Yeah, last breath. What, can we do anything with this? Long scope. It's, it's already got pretty much everything that we want think. See, having a suppressor increases the accuracy, but it does reduce the range. Ah. Nah. Nah, I think we'll leave, leave that as it is. Um, what about my personal hard target? Fluted barrel, yes, we've done that. Medium scope. like a long scope on that actually I think although it does increase like the mass slightly it does also improve the accuracy I just think that'll be so much better okay um, and I like the suppressor that's handy dandy for us tactical rips already on there compensate is good but it just reduces the accuracy it doesn't reduce it by much really and it just increases the range but i do like the suppression screw it we'll stick with that i think we'll stick with that i could yeah yeah okay that's enough of that you watch me faff about enough learn pet all right so bartender Some causa to lift your spirits uh, no. can i get you anything uh, I'm looking for Verik Vithal. Verik? Hmm. Depends on who's looking for him. And why, of course. Um. It's a personal matter. Personal, huh? Hmm. I can respect that. Jolly good. Truth is, I haven't seen him for a few days myself. But if you find him... Tell him he better come check on his tab. Oh. I know he's good for it. But since he gave Eggy permission to use it, it's sky high. Eggy? Hmm. Yeah, he's a regular here. Surely he must know something. Just because he's a regular doesn't mean he tells all. Mm. He's helped me through a lot. It always helps when you have a personal connection. Uh-huh. I was looking forward to reconnecting. It's important these days. Uh-huh. And it is important that I speak with him. Well, if it's important... Uh-huh. All right, fine. I don't know where he is, but there's a man, Dane Salavea. He might know. Oh. And where can I find him? That one's easy. Dane's a bit of a regular ever since Dasra went to hell. Just wait around a bit and he's bound to wander in. Oh. All right. I can, uh, I can chill for a bit. Lot of work to be done. But it'll be done. Yeah, it will, I'm sure. Okay. All right. You seem to be doing well. Just... I'll drink to that. Well, that's good of you. Would you like? Okay, Eggbo Kaz Kazmi? We lost a lot of good people to the Vortex. Bar seems much emptier. Quieter. 
Oh, here he is. If you do find Farrakhan, <clears throat> tell him to stop by. He's missed. I will. So, Tane. Hello. Hey. Aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Yep. Um. <sighs> yep, that's me. Impressive. Since these people really aren't into strangers. Especially in times like these. I'm an outsider myself. Oh. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. Um. How'd you end up here? You could say I'm like a specialized delivery service. Oh. Moving stuff back and forth between Dazra and the settled systems. Just so happens I got a lot of time on my hands since Dazra went to hell and I lost my ship. Oh dear. And let me tell you, I thought things were grim before. Whatever that incident was, this whole planet's gonna need therapy. Yeah. Um. I know what you mean. I do know what you mean. Yeah. It's something, isn't it? Mm hmm I've been toting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. Damn. But then these people lose half their city and you show up, and suddenly it's divine intervention. There you go. Well, um... <sighs> yeah, not everyone's a fan. I know Lemon Pest is a fan. Good God. I think he's a fanatic, in other words. Okay. Hey. You play your cards here, right? You win them over. Yeah. You've already been dealt a winning hand as it is. Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? You can't do me for anything, but you can, um, hmm. I'd like help finding Varric Vathal. Varric Vathal, huh? Mm-hmm. That's no small name around here. Well, I guess that depends, Vindicator. Oh, I. Who wants to know? Uh, well, I do, of course. Oh, sure. You just show up out of the blue and suddenly want to know where to find House Vathal's number one son? And I know he wasn't lost to whatever ate up half of Dazra. Plenty of people have seen him since. Although, let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent. And I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. You want coins, don't so you? So if you're feeling generous... You want creds. Maybe we can help yeah. each other out. It's a thousand creds. Do you know what? There. Take nice it. to see we operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the highlands. Just not sure where. But I do have the means to track him. Alright. So you just say the word and we're off to the races. Um... You coming with me? Yep. When it comes to my stuff, it's like a package deal. Your I'm stuff. not just gonna hand off valuable tech to some stranger. Um. Well, let's go then. Let's do it. After you. I'm not even gonna ask about. Once the we're tracker. outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker, and fingers crossed, it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate. Should be the fastest route. Mm. All right. Well, let's let's rock and roll, Buckaroo. So out the west gate. Eh? Is a bottle of Koza you need. It isn't a bottle of Koza I need, it's an entire bloody <sighs> shipping container worth. Good lord. This is okay. It doesn't look pretty. Let's it... take a look around. Okay. But be careful. Um Yeah. We're ready, Lemon Pest. Alright. Let's take a look. Have a little sniff round. I'll take the digi pick, thanks, mate. Oh, and the ammo. I don't want the deck of cards, though. That's fine. What's that? Koza? More of that Koza stuff? Yep. Steel cup. Flip lighter. Pot. Oh, here we go. Verics, that's the that's entry two. Okay, well, well, before we read entry two, we want to read entry one. No, really. We'll have that. Yep, yep, yep. Take that two. That as well. Those. Yeah. Aha! Here we go. Wait a minute. The left is safe. What a fool! Nice, nice. 
Uh, decent value. Um, decent value as well, and some creds. Why not? Why the hell not? Okay. Cracker. Okay. Verix Camp Log Entry 1. I've done it. I've left. My father is furious. I've never seen him so angry. I always figured he knew this day was coming, but perhaps he just he's just that delusional. This proves he'd never see things my way. That I made the right decision, but my mind still bombards me with questions. Did I act too quickly? What about Vittoria and Luther? What about Eggy and B? What will my father do now? My only hope for sleep at this point is that the exhaustion will simply take me. Damn. So what about entry two? Uh, entry two... there. As expected, I didn't sleep well last night. At least this morning, I can turn to my camp and think of what to do next. Planning ahead certainly paid off. I've been slowly building up this area ever since Tane and I first discussed plans to get me off of Varun Kai. I figured I'd need a safe place if I had to leave unexpectedly and lay low. I have the tracking device he gave me, so I can only hope he puts two and two together. In the meantime, I am hoping to distract my mind by organising my new temporary home here. Who knows how long it will be before Tane finds me. Hmm, I just realised I have an effect. What is it? So, oh. contusions. We can take care of that. There we go. Brilliant. Takes care of that. Tracker. Engineering. This is the tracking device that Tane gave Verik. Tane turned off the ping when you arrived. If Verik left the tracker here, he left in a hurry. It's useless now, but you salvaged some materials. Well, that's something, I suppose, in a way. Yeah, ooh. Vortex spawn. This creature's long body looks like it's made of tentacles and bones. Its sharp teeth and multiple eyes make it look especially alien. Well... I mean, it's not, not good news, mate, I'm afraid. Your good friend and colleague does not appear to be to be here. So, yeah. Hmm, anything else? Yeah, I've looked at that thing. Yeah. Else oh, it's a cave or something? Huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, not exactly ideal. But... Not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be finding here. Steel cup, pot, yeah, cooler. Yeah, I mean, I've picked everything up. Is it simply, is it, no? Well, boys, I'm a little, I'm a little stumped here. Because I'm not seeing anything to indicate to me what happened here. Why did he leave so, so quickly? Uh, okay. Keep your eye out for anything that might point us in the right direction. Are you friends with him? Yeah. Uh, friends a strong word. More like friendly acquaintances. Oh. Guess we both felt the Herald's Rest was one of the few places that made us feel like real people. Couple of drinks and everyone's your friend in that moment. True. Okay. Um. What kind of person is he? He's a good enough guy, I suppose. Yeah. A little self-absorbed. Spoiled. Growing up in a noble house probably does that to you. Yeah. A little naive, too. He's got this friend, Bianca. She's crazy about him. But the guy's oblivious. And his friend Eggy? Guy needs to lay off the Koza. 
but I heard Varric let him in on his tab. That's gonna work out well. Mm -hmm. Blames his dad for everything, though, and I get it. Victor Bathal is not an easy man. Um, how is he self-absorbed? He's just used to getting his way and the world revolving around him. Oh. When you're raised to be elder, that's bound to bring you all sorts of extra attention. So sometimes when hanging around with us peons, he forgets we have our own thoughts and opinions. Ah, I see. Is his dad actually to blame? Well, it's Victor we're talking about, so it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. But Varric can't see how much effort Victor puts into making sure his son has all the tools he needs to take over. He'll go on these rants of Victor drilling him on scenarios. Stuff makes my brain hurt. But Varric talks about it like child's play. Okay, let's backtrack. Hey, whatever you want. Can you tell me anything about Victor? I've only had a few run-ins with Victor for security purposes, and he's all in. The man embodies House Bethal. He could probably recite Janan's teachings word for word, and he runs the Ministry of State without missing a beat. Strict, demanding, and always watching. Oh. The guy's good at his job, but when it comes to personality, I couldn't tell you. Whoever he is, he keeps it close to the chest. Hmm. Can't think of anything about him. Personality. He's had personality outside of work. Not from the man himself. The only time I get glimpses of who Victor might be is through Barrick. It's clear he cares about his son. Putting in all that work to prepare Barrick for the vultures and wolves when he becomes elder. Hmm. And get this. He even tells Barrick he's proud of him. Well, I mean, that's nice. Well... I mean, I don't know what else we could possibly find here. I've kind of found. Yep, should I pick up the gun? No. Okay. Oh my god! I'm literally following Jesus. in your footsteps. Sorry, don't mind him. He's. It's so cool. He's um. He's harmless. He's just uh, a little much. Is there another footprint? Hey, scavenging. The footprints are sporadic, but the tread tells you they're only from one person. The final prints head west. Verik must have fled the camp after attempting to put up a small fight. All right. Yeah, but what? who was he fighting against? Some kind of person or creature or something? All right, so there's going to be some kind of evidence of something having taken place. Any blood or anything like that? Hmm. Uh, blood stains. Here we go. The blood stain is large, but it's hard to tell how much blood was lost. There's no body, so the victim may still be alive. All right. What? 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 Oh. Bloody things. Okay, okay, alright, alright. Bloody things. Ow. Whoa, God bless it, my health. Okay, uh, 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 I, mm. Ooh. Ah, might be a little, little overkill for this sort of thing. Okay, um. You know what? Why not? Hey, let's let's let's. Why not? Let's just start consuming our weight in food. Good God! There you go. Get the old health back up. All right. Bloody hell! Yeah. I could have done without that. Ooh. I mean, we could have all done without it, mate. Bloody hell. I didn't need to have all that going on. Did I eck? Ooh. Ruinous, ruinous vortex horror. What? Okay. Rocky Nautilus scavenger. Where's it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. 
Why did we? Why are we killing all these? They're just flying about, or did they get involved? I don't. I don't know. Oh, ah, there you go. Ugh, look at that. Gross. Ugh. Stinky butts. All right, mate. Let's have a conversation. All my years and all the planets I've been on, never gonna get used to those things. No. Um. I'm sure they're connected to the scaled citadel experiment. Sure, it looks like it. Yeah. Damn, House Baron. Wiping out half their city and bringing in whores like these. Yeah. At least I don't see a body around here, so I hope that means Varric's alive. Fingers crossed. You find anything? Well, um, bloodstain, footprints, yeah. Damn. Hate to think he had to take on those things by himself. Yeah. Well, what's next? Varric must have fled in a hurry since his tracker's still here. So guess the rest is up to us. Yeah. Um. We track him. He's injured, so it shouldn't be too hard. Sounds like a plan. And hopefully that injury slows him down enough for us to catch up. Yeah, fingers crossed, mate. Let's head back down and see what we can find. Yep. And by we, I mean you. Oh, you're not coming with me now? You've had enough? All right, well, whatever. Whatever. See? Oh, you're coming with us, are you? Jolly good. Jolly good, sir. Oh, there was an easy way up. I just missed it completely. Brilliant. Okay. So down we go. Cheese in it. It's a shame. I don't think that the um, the Rev Eight has uh, has four seats, which is a sh shame, really. Zorovix, Zarovix notes. The temperature fluctuates greatly out here. Nothing will that will hurt me, but finding comfort is impossible. I have been tired and hungry with little food or sleep. I miss my family. But is that not the point? Though I am weary, the great serpent guides me. It is undeniable his power. The presence grows stronger every hour that wanes. In half a day I will be there. The peak lies just beyond the fog. Alright. Well. Okay, footprints. The footprints here are less sporadic. You can tell that someone rested here and then headed to the northwest. Okay. Well, all right. What's this thing? Some kind of... What? Who's that? Never mind. What's happened here? Oh. Oh, God, really? I think we lost him. <laughs> that works. I'm here. That All right. I'm sorry. Right in the in the in the what? Oh, there you are, are you? you hurt, bro. Who? What? Who? What? It's nothing. It's just nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. Oops. Um. Take the vortex shard, why not? Watch! Okay, let's put this away and get this out quickly. Good God! Bloody hell. really? Don't be don't be doing this. Okay. Bloody hell. Can't get can't get anywhere. It's ridiculous. Being bloody assaulted constantly. Um, take your shard. There you go. Okay, uranium. Calm down. No more bad days. No more bad days. Oh. Aha. Grim Vortex Phantom. Yep. yep. So what were they doing here? Is this just a water tower? I think it's just like a water tower. Yep. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Jolly good. Jolly good, chaps. Well. I 
guess we'll have to go and find my laddo. Hope he's alright. He's not dead. Which he could be, let's be real. You know? Could be 100% dead. Too far gone to repair. But we'll see. But we will leave it there for today. So next time we'll continue following the trail. Hopefully found, find Verik and um, get some answers. And hopefully we'll be able to spare him. Because I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe. Anyway, until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. Bye.